On June 14, 1918, Grand Duchess Maria Nikolaevna turned 19 years old. It is unclear how her birthday was celebrated or not celebrated at the House of Special Purpose. But what we do know is that many decades later, a story was published in one of the Romanov biographies about a guard named Ivan Skorohodov, who was more fond of Maria than was appropriate, and smuggled in a cake for her last birthday. It is claimed that this fondness was reciprocated on the part of the Grand Duchess, and Skorohodov was consequently dismissed from his post after later being caught in a compromising position with Maria. George Hawkins and I address this narrative in our book, Maria Romanov, Third Daughter of the Last Tsar, because in our research, we found absolutely no valid evidence that anything like this ever happened. The story of the cake seems to have first originated with one of the executioners, Pyotr Yermakov, most of whose accounts have been proven to be extremely unreliable. Now, Ivan Skorohodov was indeed a guard at the Patyev house, but he left his post due to an illness and hospitalization rather than dismissal. The cake myth also served as a basis for stories about Maria being shunned or frozen out by her family members, by her mother and eldest sister Olga in particular, due to her alleged inappropriate behavior. But again, there's no evidence that Maria was treated any differently by anyone during the last weeks of their lives. The fact that she was the only one of the imperial children who did not have jewels sewn in into their corsets had nothing to do with being treated differently, but with the fact that she was the one who went to Ekaterinburg with her parents while her siblings remained in Tobolsk, which was when they secreted the jewels in their own underclothing. Parts of a note written by Yakov Rivrovsky, who was the last commandant of the Patyev house, were used to imply that something untoward happened between the Grand Duchess and the guard. It was uh, referring to a conversation with visiting clergy, uh, which was cited as a source for the alleged scandal involving Maria. The Yurovsky note was quoted as stating that the priest who conducted the last service for the family said that, quote, one must give a pass for inappropriate behavior to an imperial soul, end quote. However, the original note in Russian mentions nothing of the sort. The pertinent part actually reads, quote, I invited the priest and the deacon when they had gotten dressed in their vestments in my commandant's office, I told them that they could perform the service according to custom, but warned them that there must be no conversation. The deacon declared, this is what happened before and not with such important people. If one messes it up, it can cause a scandal, but in this situation, we could sort it out in good spirit." End quote. It is unclear where the myth of Maria's inappropriate behavior and consequent shunning was derived from exactly, but it seems that it was based upon a faulty translation in the original publication that referenced this alleged incident. Another reason why the cake incident, not to mention compromising antics, was extremely unlikely is as follows. After the new commandant, Yakov Yurovsky, arrived at the Apatyev house, he installed an entirely different guard team and started hyper-monitoring any fraternization between the guards and prisoners during their final weeks. Breaking any rules, no matter how minor, resulted in a violator being immediately thrown into a local jail. Now that would just be a punishment for entering into a conversation with one of the prisoners. The alleged incident, such as described, would have carried an even worse punishment, most likely an immediate execution, 
and all the guards knew this. In conclusion, I'd like to say that it's true that none of us has any way of knowing what may have happened behind closed doors at the house of special purpose. But there's absolutely no evidence that anything inappropriate ever happened between any of the Grand Duchesses and the guards. Any evidence that was used to indicate that something like this happened is extremely unreliable or simply non-existent. This is another myth that needs to be debunked about the Romanovs. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, liking, or commenting to support my channel. Thank you.